Everyone's asking what is going on in the real estate market. Well, I'm Mark Ferris. We sold over 11,000 homes to date. And I'm going to give you a little bit of an update as to what I think is going to be happening in the future, along with looking back over the last month of March and giving you uh, some perspective of what actually happened there. And then some ideas to think about as well. If you're thinking, should I be buying or shouldn't I be buying in this real estate market. So this is for Simcoe County, this data that I'm sharing with you. Uh, so just north of Toronto. And I think it's going to give you a really good perspective of what's happening out there. Average sale price, you can see, has been trending sideways. Uh, it really did hit a bottom in the month of March of 2022. And uh, around this time in the beginning of the year, I had mentioned I really think that we hit a bottom when it comes down to uh, price because, I mean, dr prices dropped on average from 940000 down to 687000 Over the month of, from February to March, it dropped slightly, but I really believe that we've hit a bottom here and it's going to continue to trend sideways. New listings coming on the open market have increased from 813 to 1200 and 10. Uh, but again, if you look back over the last couple of years, 1,533 new listings came on in March of 2022. And you could see in 2021, there were close to 1,700 new listings. So not as many sellers coming on the open market. Number of sales. This is something that I look at fairly closely because it's a really good gauge as to if there's a, a lot of buyers that are actively buying homes. Really interesting here. If you look back over the last few years when COVID hit, I don't know if you guys remember in March, it, that's when it, it, it hit. And then most buyers were just sitting on the sidelines and there were very few sales that happened. So there were still 361 sales that happened when COVID hit in the worst month. I mean, you can see what happened after that. There's a massive increase, but 361. And over the last few months, you could see that we've been selling less homes per month than we did in the worst month of COVID. And so this just means that there's a lot of buyers sitting on the sidelines. This isn't just one month. This is multiple months in a row where we see the low amount of sales. And although it has jumped from 372 up to 574, look back over the previous years in March, you could see, I mean, still 825 in March of 22 is where we really saw kind of a top and when the market started to uh, decrease and 2021, there were thir over 1,300 sales. And you can see the prior March, uh, right before COVID hit, there was still 719. So there's drastically fewer sales happening. And this just means to me, especially with multiple months in a row like this, that there's going to be a lot of buyers that are going to be coming into the market as confidence starts to build. And we're already seeing it right now. Days on market, you can see with this increased confidence is driving down the number of days on the market from 20 down to 17. Um, and I think this is going to continue to drop, if not go sideways um, on that side of it. List of sale price, you can see, has increased slightly from 97.5%. Uh, 4 percent to 97.7 now this is point very you know small amount of number but you can see it's it's trending up in uh november december january really dropped down to 96 percent but we're starting to see that trend up it just means on average sellers are dropping uh, approximately about two percent down on their list price uh, overall our team last month we still did uh, over 100 sales um, so helping buyers and sellers on that side, 102. Now that, that compares to the previous month of 70 sales that we ended up doing. Now to give you a comparison, last March, we did 129 sales. So overall, our number count is down, but that's right across the board. It gives you an idea. There are buyers that are still actively out there buying homes. There are lots of sellers still that are selling homes. So whatever you're watching in the news, I mean, if our team alone did over 100 sales last month, the reality is, is that um, there's a lot more sales happening in the open market and more and more confidence is coming into the market as well. So if you're sitting on the sidelines now thinking, you know what, the market is going to drop drastically more before I actually buy, want to really encourage you to jump into the market. Where the market dropped is from February of last year till today. I, I don't see the data is not saying that there's going to be another massive drop as well. You can see that prices are very similar to where they were at this time two years ago. 
So March of 2021, they're at 710,000. We're at 710,000 right now. So there's been an increase and then there's been a decrease. And what that just, what that means is over the last two years, we've been the same. So for it to drop drastically on top of that with the low amount of inventory that's, that's out there. And you have a lot of developers that are sitting on the sidelines now, just waiting to see what's going to happen at the open market it just means there's going to be less inventory coming out. And I, I really think over the next two years that um, there could be some stagnation going sideways, but in like two to three year time frame, I think there's going to be another boom when it comes down to average sale price. So something to think about if you are on the sidelines, I want to encourage you to jump in. Just remember, if you're selling and buying, it's all about the spread. I mean, you're, you're going to sell for maybe a little bit lower, but again, you're going to be buying for a little bit lower as well. So something to think about. If you do have any questions, Ferris team, we're here to help and uh, we really appreciate you guys. We'll talk to you soon.